Football, I know sometimes, yeah, when it's going right for you, yeah. <laughs> How many hat tricks is that for you in your career? That's the first. Is it really? Yeah, first even for a youth team. I've, I've grabbed a few braces, but that's my first hat trick in uh, professional football, yeah. Which goal gave you the most satisfaction today? Uh, third one? Yeah, probably the third one. one. Uh, just being able, to be fair, I have a great relationship with, with Crofty. Uh, his range of passing is fantastic, so I know if they make those runs, nine times out of ten it's coming to me, and then it's just up to me to do the final bit, and, and today, praise God, it, it, it came off. Is he surprising himself with those range of passes now? No, it's, it's, it's not. It's just that the way we want to play is expansive football, and we knew a weakness of theirs was their fullback like to, to bomb on a lot, which exposed the right side of their, of their, of their defence. So it was up to me to try and pull in those areas as, as, as much as I could, but football's a 90-plus minute game. It might not happen every single minute, but when the minute does happen, you've got to make a count, and, and today we managed to do that. How did you feel when the third one went in? It was brilliant. I just knew straight away it was my first hat-trick and it was a special day because it was my little in's second birthday so and he was the mascot so everything rolled in pretty nicely. You know, the stars aligned for me and <laughs> I've been blessed today. So he it's a day. Mascot, yeah, he was a mascot and oh scored, yeah. So <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, exactly. A yeah, very blessed day. So it's a day that, that we like won't forget. Uh, Jensen. Jensen. Yeah, yeah, that's the one, yeah. <laughs> so no, it was, a, it was a blessed day for me and the family. So just, Happy to get it out the way, and then hopefully we can we can kick on and, and get some payback against Millwall. We play next. No, this one's going in the trophy cabinet. No one's touching <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah, there is. There's, there's a few things in there, but that that's that's that'll be going straight in when I get home. What's the mood among the players? Are they tired? Are they welcoming this break that you've got coming up, or would they prefer another game in a few days? No, of course. As footballers, we want to play as much as we can, and there's there's nothing more special than a cup run, especially if you can you manage to go all the way, but. Unfortunately for us, that's not the case. But you know, one man's waste is another man's treasure. For us, it's just a time to to, to regroup, rebalance, um, have a couple of days to refresh. Then we go into the Millwall game with literally no excuses. We're we're fully fully charged. You know, it was a quick turnaround, two two games in three days, which was a bit of a grind. But it's it's the job we love, and we've just got to get on with it. We can't be complaining that we're playing football. Did that's say, what we wanted did to you do. Say thanks to Ariba for setting up. Yeah, I did. Yeah, um, I gave him a kiss in the back of the head. I think, but. Uh, <laughs> He's a fantastic prospect um, coming through the likes of, of, of what Trotton have already managed to do from the academy. So it's just another one off, off the conveyor belt, really, which is a bit cheesy to say, but it is. It's just he's a fantastic prospect, and the manager we have here will be able to nurture him and bring him through and, and, and play in the games he's been able to play in. Did you sense that once you got that equaliser, the players around you seem to be rejuvenating? Yeah, you I think. to lift them. Yeah, it was a big deal. You know, I think um, the, when we played them at their place, we. No disrespect to them. I think we dismantled them. We beat them five one, and it was important that from from the, the first whistle that we sort of took them, tried to take as much as we could, take them back to that that mindset that 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 we just continued on where we left off from the five one, and they weren't going to come here and try and take the mick basically at the valley. We needed to, to to put it to them, and when the goal went in uh, weeks prior, we sort of capitulated and, and it could have went two or three maybe, but um, we managed to rally round and, and Joe put in a great ball, and I managed to be on the end of it. So. I think that gave us a bit of a lift, and of course the fans were they were they pushed us on a wee bit more. And when you got the support from the twelfth man, it, it just helps even more. Okay, next game against Millwall. Yeah. Score to settle there. Yeah, there is. I think uh, we didn't do ourselves any justice um, in the way we were trying to play and, and and our performances. But the great thing is about football in this league, you, you get to play each other again, and it's just up for us to the next time that we play them that that we put it right and. We make sure we leave no stone unturned, which it never is. We've got a fantastic backroom staff and our video analysis guys works 24-7. So we'll be well prepared and then it's just up for us when we cross over the white line to, to do the business. Is, um, is, is young Jensen aware of what you do for him? You know, like um, he just knows daddy kicks a ball. That's 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 all he knows so far. But um, uh, he, he comes to all the games and he's, he's fully kitted out. So he knows something to do with football. Whether he knows the extent of it or not, I don't know. I'm just happy that he enjoys his time when he comes. Have the players got a few days off? Yeah, I think we've got uh, a couple of days off. A uh, couple of days off, yeah, just to recharge, especially after uh, the game. I think we were going to have tomorrow off anyway, so we've extended it for a wee bit. Um, sort of the period that we're under, Christmas is sort of the, the most hectic time for us in the new year. So what we managed to do, uh, be able to see our families and stuff over that time, he's, he's given to do it now. So just keeps all the boys happy and everyone revitalised and, and just makes us hungry for when we come back in. So 
it'll be a good couple of days off and then as I say you come back in. Break, yeah, welcome that break. Yeah, catch a breath a bit, enjoy some family time, get away from the place and then come back ready to go for Millwall. When when you was on two goals, you were seem to be getting a little bit frustrated, like he was kicking the post and yeah, I think, yeah, it was just because it was corner brace, I knew that I'd never score a hat-trick, so it was, I just wanted the ball as many times as I could, and then especially when Esri tried to, to go on a Maisie solo and didn't square it to me, I thought that, that might be it, but thank God another pass came to me and I was able to put it away, but it's just just frustrations really, but I think we're, I'm old enough now to know in the game that i just got to stay composed, and if a chance comes, it's up to me to put it away. I think you gave Esri a rocket, didn't you? I did, yeah, to be fair, I'm, people that know me know I'm quite vocal and I say what's on my mind, so... It was nothing personal, and he just at the end of the game he started laughing at me and said I maybe should have passed it. Um, but I was like, nah, he, I, if I was you, I would have done the same. So um, just move on, and thank God I got the hat trick. On the, um, the tunnel jump at the end, it's a tradition. Yeah, yeah I never, to be fair, I've, I've never seen it. Normally, I'm, I'm one of the first off the pitch, and then uh, Skip Johnny Jackson said to me, "You got to do it." And I, I was like, "What are you talking about?" And he was like, "Yeah, you've got to come back out." So it was a good way to end the game. Um, just just end the start of the new year on a high really and then take try and take the confidence and momentum uh, into the next game. So it was nice to, to get the accolade and, and the appreciation from the fans because they stick by us through thick and thin and, and they deserve to be entertained and I think today the majority of them will be able to go home and say that was the case.